Good evening, everybody. Glad you've made the decision to be with us. Alongside Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore, and we're glad to be bringing you action and welcoming you to Vegas, where they do it bigger and better than any other city when it comes to the big time fights. We're at the Thomas and Mack Center for tonight's main event. Ten rounds among light heavyweights. Great atmosphere here tonight. You talk to everybody ringside, and they expect this one to be a barn burner. Dawson's had this experience so many times, and success has always come on the back end of these ring walks. It's his focus at this moment that delivers it. Joe Calzaghe's entourage has that look on their face. They know they've put the work in, and you can see how confident they are for the battle that lies ahead. here in the opening round scheduled for 10. Keep working about it. Able to dismiss it. Well, that was his intention, and that's what he's doing. Not engaging in the fight, but clinching. Teddy, what role nice. can the fans nice. play on the fighters, the atmosphere of the arena, when they know there's two guys meeting up that can bang? An immature fighter, a less experienced fighter, can get caught up. He can try to satisfy the audience. That's a quick way to be going into the shower earlier than you wanted to. Dawson showing you that sublime skill right now with that two-punch combo. Locks it away. Good scoring shot. It was a straight right. Back to the bus. Oh, and he's got something for him himself, and it's a left hand. Joe Calzaghi's movement helped out there. He avoided that punch. Parries that punch intended for the head. Nice strike after by Joe Calzaghe. Halfway through this round. Gets rid of that body shot. Not able to land the uppercut. And now the right hand lands because of the work done by the jab. See, he's got his guard up really well that time, and it protects his head. Chad Dawson's right hand scores well. Throws out the jab, and then brings back the uppercut up top. Well off the mark by Joe Calzaghe. I like that step back right there. Just enough to be out of danger, but still close enough to then land the counter punch. Well, that's what happens when you have that kind of experience. You're calm enough to know that range. Know where the beginning of the punch and the end of the punch is. 
Calzaghe's missing the mark by a mile. That just was nowhere to be found. As we come to the end of the round, Joe and Teddy with you ringside. Teddy, that's one of those rounds where I wonder what were the judges looking for because it's tough to kind of draw a line between those two fighters. Yeah, very close, but one of those rounds where you could steal it. You did a little bit more in those last 30, 20 seconds. Maybe that's the impression the judges are left with. Way to hit the target there, jab uppercut. One, gives one. The right hand scores well. Went to the body there, but unable to connect. Parries that punch away. Good clean shot, returning fire. Well done by Joe Kaltagi. Gets rid of that effort. Dawson sitting back right now, Teddy, and looking for that counterpunch opportunity, isn't he? Yeah, that's exactly what he's doing. He's waiting, you know, he sees that his opponent is in his armory, so to speak. You know, he's in his castle. He's getting him to come out of his castle. He wants him to come out of his castle, so now he can attack. There's so much to like about Chad Dawson, but there are things that could be improved, such as... Every once in a while, he drops his hands a little bit. Um, and every once in a while, he may go defensive a little bit too long in, in certain spots where he give you a little bit of an opportunity to catch up a little bit, you know, put something together. But for the most part, he's pretty solid. Chad Dawson's not just loading up. He's landing combination punches like he did right there. Zaggy's climb back up from the canvas may inspire him. Not the most accurate uppercut you'll see. He's tired. And he engages in the clinch. He gets off with a combination up top. On, Takes on. one, but gives one. Good work by Chad Dawson. Dawson's defense. Is it ever good? Look at how easy he's able to block those punches. Just 10 seconds to go here in the second round. Right, End of that three, round, and the knockdown was scored. Now, Teddy, the fighter who was floored, right? how do you treat him? Do you go, do you go soft on him when he comes back, or do you get right in his face? What's the way to approach him? You have to know your fighter. You have to know the temperament of your fighter. Some guys, you know, they just kind of crawl up into a ball, and they don't come out of it if you get too strong with them. Other guys, they react well to that. So you got to know what he reacts to, first of all. And the most important thing, you have to get information. Why did he get dropped? You had your right hand down, you got hit the hook. Get your right hand up. You'll be okay. Calzaghe's out to show everybody that he's fine. But we saw what happened in the last round. He was knocked down in that last round. Does he have to prove something to himself as well as proving something to everybody in this arena? Well, that's the right question, Joe. He's got to revisit his memory banks a little bit and know that he's already proven it to himself. He's been in this position before, so he has to regain that confidence and understand that he can deal with this. He's done it before. Well-placed, well-timed combo up top. Oh, what a whiff by Calzaghe.
He digs in, trying to bank away. Right hand crashes home. He never saw it coming. He should tie up. Now Zaggy's getting himself into the mix now, landing that left hand. Sets up that right hand with the jab. Coming to the halfway point of this third round. Calzaghi's making for a tough target there. He gets away from that punch. How about a return to sender with the left hand? Dawson's using that jab well very early on here, Teddy. That could be a big benefit to him tonight. Well, it's supposed to be, Joe. He has a real good wingspan. I mean, he's got those long arms. No better way to put him to use than to use that jab and use that jab at the right distance. Up top with the right hand. Dawson's landing a combination here. That's what he does when he's at his very best. Move your head. And this round comes to an end. Nice, nice work you're doing with. You know. Gotta breathe. Our first chance to take a look at Teddy's scorecard here as round number four is underway. Teddy, what would you recommend based on what we're seeing here tonight? Well, two aspirin and then go. Oh no, actually, I would say a little counter punching would be just what the doctor ordered. That's a better prescription for him. Nowhere close that punch by Calzaghi. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. Dawson's the kind of boxer that wants to do just that. Find the target, get the combination working, land both punches. Nice! Joe Calzaghi's punch is far off the target. Good work defensively by Calzaghi. Plus, he landed that counter punch. Yeah, and he forced him to punch. He made him, he drew it out of him, and then he timed him beautifully. He is so dangerous with that left hook to the body, and this time he adds the right hand on the back end. And he's holding halfway through round number four. Not what he was looking for. That's a miss right there by Joe Calzaghi. Calzaghi, oh, Teddy, this has got to drive his trainer crazy because he's leaving himself wide open with these sweeping shots. Well, you talk about that old saying, leaving the barn door open, and the horses are going to go out. Well, guess what? The punch is sooner or later. Cut.
Calzaghe's just punching air that time. His opponent was able to get out of the way. Ten seconds to go in the fourth. And that's the end of round four. Land a big punch Joe here. Calzaghe no has to prove this that he's a deep stretch runner here right shot. now. I Look think he's me. slightly trailing as this fight comes out. to the later stages. But you can see his corner imploring him to go out and win it. Really frustrating his opponent now. Dawson so defensively sound. It doesn't make it. Solid. He was able to get up and continue on last time. Now he goes down again. <laughs> the ref is stopping this fight. Joe Calzaghe's a knockout victim. He couldn't beat the count. That's exactly why he packs the stands. This fight is over. Boy, you gotta love a power puncher when he's on his game. Yeah, and you have to love a finisher. He knew how to end it. He knew which punches to choose at the right time. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. That does it ringside. We'll see you next time.